on y'all? Corporate Black Entertainment presents. This episode is about Culture Vulture. This is going to be a good one. I'm your host, Will Roberts. I'm Paul. I'm Manny. So we're going to talk about <laughs> Culture Vultures and hip hop community and this inner community in general. So, <laughs> I think we'll we go with Paul. All right, I think I'm going to start off by just telling what my example of a Culture Vulture is, period. And I think, basically, it's, if you... if You, you said Drake? Oh, well, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get to that, but uh, basically if you're stealing a culture or anything from a culture or something like that and you ain't you ain't giving back to it or you ain't paying no homage or something like that, you basically you you just a vulture, like you stealing, like, I don't know, and, and, and you see it in all aspects, M music, TV, even fucking merchandising and clothing, yeah. shit like that, like, it's, it's all it is, man, especially in, in like the entertainment industry, and like, I don't know, man. Just you turn on the TV, you see different shit. You think it's like all oh, these people might be cool, and no, all they just stealing some shit that they done saw. Yeah. Capitalizing off of it, and then you see them two years later, they on a whole nother wave, nah, stealing not some even, shit. Not even, not even two, two years. years. These days, Something like six months. Right. And then you got the the. We gonna start off with these whack ass like people like academics. I hate he, him. He's fucking I think he up. knows it too. I'm on his comments every day. <laughs> he's, he's fucking up the culture. Like, Absolutely. He's bad for the culture. He's very bad for the culture. Like, when is you gonna have something good to say about somebody? Yeah. Like, like everything. Have your is, own opinion like that. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just is, like just sucking shit like that. Like, I don't know. That, uh, he fucking up the culture. Like, Whatever's trendy, he's on it. No matter if it's good or bad. Yeah. He's such and a, I, like, I he's get it. I, I don't. Get it to a certain extent. Like, because everything is so fast paced these days and fast food, you gotta keep current with everything. But it's like when you keep in current and you making the whole like hip hop culture look bad, like everything is something fucked up. Like, and then he be putting his own little twist in the stories, making shit untrue. Like, yeah. man, fuck that dude. <laughs> like, to be all honest with you. Yeah, and he, like, he and should have posted and be like, uh, he wanted them doing some dumb shit. He wanted them like. like Keep keyboard thugs, man. Like yeah, talk real tough. Man, you ain't about, you, you're not like that. You're not built like that. Just keep that. You're not built like that. And when the Migos ran up on Joe Button, you sitting there looking crazy, looking scared as fuck. fuck. So Hold you're not that, built like that. He's clutching that microphone tight as Hell fuck. Hell yeah, like. shivering. <laughs> Nigga ain't built like that, man. Let's just keep it all the way real. Man, what's your take on it, man? Uh, DJ Academics. I really don't. I personally don't even. I don't even follow at all. Uh, only time that I even see something is if I'm looking at something that's, you know how you go on YouTube and it's a relatable yeah. thing. That's the only time I see it. And depending on what artist he's talking about too, it might be an artist I might check out. Uh, yeah, he played, he played, uh, I don't know, he, his agenda, his agenda is just, it's terrible from a lot of the stuff that I read read and listen to mm -hmm. like he pushing and then he then he uh he being cool with people that has like situations going on and then he put himself into the predicament yeah dumbass dumb stupid that's stupid yeah, shit. Dumb. So, and he i don't know he getting people in trouble yeah like, running your mouth too talk much you got talk too fucking yeah, he, much yeah he doing too much talk a bitch I really ain't got too much to say about academics. I don't you was mentioning know. Vlad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Vlad. Uh, he, I think he a disgrace to like our culture. Like he just he just exploits it pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I he, I think he like some type of undercover yeah. agent or something. Like it, just just his interviews alone just weird. Like it's, I don't even watch that nigga. I've watched several of the interviews. It's just a weird like it's not a comfortable looking interviews. And then the segments and the questions he asked. Yeah, he asked like, questions to that be down there incriminating and shit like that. Be like, right. Like what's your angle? Like he trying like, to get people to snitch on people. Uh and he, he got, had like the six he, nine situation. He had the girl he had the baby mama on there with, oh, yeah, the, yeah, with yeah. the document to the like the situation. I'm like I'm yeah. like this this is crazy. Like that's day life. Yeah. Like let them do that. You using that as for a platform to get yourself some right. clicks. Right. Some views and some subscribers. Like you using it for the wrong reason. Right. So let me I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna go to a side of the fence. 
So when we when we put in World Star, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I ain't watch World I Star. Been on World Star I, but so when you long. did though, right? What do you see? None but negativity, mostly. What race? Of course, black. black exactly. Right. But the thing is, with World Star is, it's like a double edged sword with, with World Star, because that's what got World Star popping was that shit. Just the whole name World Star, you instantly what think of a fight. You instantly think of a fight and somebody yelling out World Star. Like I said yesterday. <laughs> like, like that's what you think. But also World Star is a music platform. If you they be constantly breaking sure. new artists. And you got some artists that literally sh shoot their videos and push them out through World Star. You got some major artists that do that shit. Yeah. So it's There's other outlets too now though. But the it's main a thing was just, with that, like though. say if I was a a white person, right? I mean, and you want to see some? If I and I and I never yeah. been exposed to anything, right? And I go type in World Star. What you think I'm gonna think of African Americans? That we all fucking exactly. Yeah. Like I just that's feel like they don't promote. They don't. Pro I feel that's like what's wrong. Way. That's what's wrong with our society too, though. And that's what um, the people still don't understand. And it's been since 1960, since Martin Luther King. The cat is not you. Not judged off the the color of your skin, and you judge off your character. This is off this, and then you got to be more intelligent to know that this is the right. internet. This yeah, is right. this is TV. That's not reality. Yeah. Like a reality TV show for somebody to actually believe that is is appalling to me. That stuff TV is all scripted. scripted yeah. So and then is and then the masses is actually like really believing this stuff. Yeah. So that's incredible to me. Yeah. And then you got that's then, a whole other ploy. And know? then you got white. Then you got the white people uh, stereotyping this stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. They assume and then, that everybody's but like. But the thing that's is, because that's what the key. Doing. And the key yeah. word is assume, though. Like mo majority of people that assume make an ass out of themselves. Yeah. You don't even know, like, you ain't never even spoke to this person before. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm more got, of a person. Got little little Johnny that grew up in. Bumfuck woods of uh, Perrysville. <laughs> anywhere. But the thing <laughs> and all the only only encounter they ever had with a person of a different race is What's through the TV? the TV or or a computer. And that's and that's and that's, that's what they think about. That, like, that, oh, that is a huge problem. Right. You can't differentiate the TV from a the fucking reality. That's no, they can't. Know. And, but, and it's hard because that's, that's crazy. And that's where them. That's I, where, get that, that's I get that though. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But that's where the culture vultures come. But the and thing, that's what and another, another thing that kills me about the new generation of racist racist people, or the people that's prejudiced, like the new era of these people, not the old school people, but the people that's been taught this stuff. Mm -hmm. They have a huger platform, or no, they have. We have devices that you can actually get access to see all types of stuff. So that that lies, that is no excuse. Like say, you just be like, okay, this is how this person is. You telling me you can't go on the internet and see something positive? I like that. You can research, you can, you can, you can study like, the people, some of the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis is kind of on that level, but having a conversation with me, and then, and then another thing, black people got to quit being so defensive when the people that been programmed to think how black people are, you can't get mad because what we just said, they got programmed to think that way. Yeah. So don't get mad when the <laughs> white person act ignorant towards you because a lot of them. Kind of, they don't know all the time. Like I done dealt with people that I work with that don't really know, and they they kind of go off the TV. I deal with that on an everyday basis, and it get it does get tiring. It gets tiring, bro. Like every day you gotta you have to disarm a person every day. Like you gotta let them know, like I ain't no, what you think. I ain't saying I ain't saying every day. I'm talking about you. no. But I'm saying in some certain situations it happens like that every day. Yeah, like, that, and that's when you don't bother be bothered with them. Yeah, but then then you. Tied into their stereotype of who cares? People That's care. what I'm saying. It's at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you really shouldn't care to give a fuck what people think about you. That's very Definitely, true. if you know who you are, you look at you when you brushing your teeth and doing your getting up in the morning. You looking in that mirror, or you getting drunk. You know who you are. Yeah. So why are you so concerned about what somebody else is saying? 
And then people, but people the, tie into that too much. much. But, but no, this, this is what ties you, into the culture. You think, you think know who he is? No. No. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That, this is what, where the culture yeah. part comes Absolutely. in. Because <laughs> this, is where the, this is where the culture <laughs> part party comes in. You got some culture parties that know that people don't know what what these people really do or how they really are. And they going to sell whatever they done stole, whatever ideas they sell. They going to force that shit down your throat. Like, oh, they, this is how black people are here. This is what you want to see. Uh, why, why is it regular culture vulture? Why is it? Man, where you want to start? <laughs> start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. We <laughs> need some popcorn. Where you want to start at? I gotta get my popcorn. Let's just start. We we'll start at the well, beginning of, of popcorn, his musical ladies career. And gentlemen, I gotta get my popcorn. We we'll start at the beginning of his musical career, or whatever. Troy Song. Pretty much Troy Songs. Off Troy Song. Pretty, yeah, he pretty much stole. I right, he pretty much Trey made him after. Trey Song is his daddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fonte is daddy. Fonte, that, that, he got two daddies. I'm, talk, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about musically. <laughs> we, we, we gonna go personality, we gonna go yeah. on a personal level. Yeah. Cause he, he kicked it with Trey songs all the time. That's yeah. how, that's and, how and I've been around people that has kicked it with me and be, that, that was, been, was lame as fuck. But, Ooh. you know. Just like we, we can talk about that too. Just photos. <laughs> just stealing. Just stealing. It's a photo. Just stealing. <laughs> just stealing way. Just stealing or picking up ways of like how this person moved. Like, oh, right. I can do that. Dre is the biggest. Uh, the culture vulture probably out right now. But probably we, we we probably we start early on, like it's like you said with the Trey songs. Trey songs yeah. pretty much. Definitely. Trey songs pretty much gave him his initial identity. He right. gave it to him. So, like literally handed it to him, and then that's when Drake started to. All right, I need to get better at this, do better at this. He started hanging with little brother and making songs with them. His whole one, his first. All he tapes, ever but, did was hang. All he ever did was. All he ever did was just brush shoulders with people to take they the take. Yeah, stuff techniques from. and style. Now, after like, little brother, then that's when he started hanging around Wayne though, and. Let me, because we had this talk earlier. I, at first, I was considering Wayne a culture vulture, but he's not. He Wayne got, is he, a wave rider. But he got that from he he picked that up from Wayne though, because yeah, Wayne was doing Wayne, wave Wayne rider. Wayne is a wave rider, not a culture vulture. Yeah, wave rider for sure. Drake, on the other hand, I can't say the same thing for it. Drake, Drake does Drake. Drake does ride waves like a motherfucker, but it's also he not he ain't. What he portrayed to be like. He knows it. Drake, you think he's so cool. With watch him. a Drake interview. Listen to how he's talking in the interviews. Yeah. He not, and then he he get not comfortable song. in his own skin. Yeah, like he don't really know who he who he is yeah. as a person. It seems like he he's do not, a, He's not comfortable he in his like own this. skin. Look, he do a primetime TV interview and he sounds like Jimmy in the wheelchair. He do the shot with LeBron. He sounded like Drizzy Drake, like. Come on, bro. Like, which motherfucker are you? Like, yeah. which which one? Which yeah, one? Be the same way all around. And, right? and then and then today he talking in and fucking patois and he Jamaican making Jamaican songs. I mean, what, what is it? And right? then what is the it? next day what he's he's singing Spanish. Man, what what are oh, you? He, like, a, he a rock. He a roster <laughs> one time. Like and he is he bruh, the R&B sensation another. I time. mean, I get it. That's why I get his it. first album was all over the place because he had no identity. That's what was all over the place. No, that's why his out. That's why he's never made a great album. Never had a classic album. Feel? Yeah, never. Because he don't have no identity. He don't create his own stuff. But it's all created. But again, all the stuff that we said so far just proves that he's a wave rider. I think what proves that he's a culture vulture is what the fuck is he doing for the culture? For the culture. Besides that, guys playing video. What else have you heard of Drake? And and that I believe that was a ploy in itself yeah. as well. It was touching. because that was that was touching and it was in the Did in you cry? Whole, no. I mean, Did you cry? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I was crying like a baby. And I'm saying all that I'm saying all that shit to say that if it will make it crazy though is if Drake drop a, a hard track right now, motherfuckers still gonna listen to it. 
At this point, I that's believe this. I believe this dude is down there untouchable at this he point. Is. Come on now, all the all the act, all the all the <laughs> evidence <laughs> that's been pointed. <laughs> that's and clear. Something. He he's, he's untouchable. Wrong. He's untouch. Yeah. I remember Wale was saying that in the interview. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not messing around with Drake. Yeah, he's like, I ain't touching him. He's untouchable. untouchable. <laughs> like, he got to deal with Apple Music, man. It's retarded. That, like, go back to his albums, like the first one, No I did the second album. You know, Weekend. It sounds like a Weekend album. Everything sounds like Weekend. It was a weekend What's though. the third album? Um, uh, uh, nothing was the same. That sounded like a detail. That sounded like a detail. Um, it was a lot on there. Uh, yeah. A lot of detail to me. You know who detail yeah, is, right? Yeah, yeah. He was. I feel like he was writing songs for Lil Wayne. What's after that one? Was it Views? That was a uh, no. It was, was if, it, if you read it, uh, we all Quentin, know that one. Uh, Quentin, Quentin Miller. Quentin Miller. Yeah, yeah. That's why I had to think. Quentin Miller and then oh uh, party part oh you party know what? next door yeah party next door back, 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 let, me take, let me take it back uh, yeah nothing was the same it was, it was party, a lot of party next, next door, door. yeah it was a lot of uh, zombie on the track yeah uh, feel I I don't care what nobody say I think he took I think he took the style of zombie uh, zombie on the track zombie on the track was also a rapper too yeah he took a lot of his style detail he took a lot of his style it, I'll, I'll go back. You can go back from from mixtape to mixtape, album to album. What was what was the first mixtape? Uh, room for improvement. Room for improvement. What was it was one before that? Um, nah, that's his first one. Comeback season. That was comeback. That was comeback season was after. Comeback season was all yeah. little brother. The the Absolutely. every every beat, every beat, every beat, every every soul, bar, soul. like. Fake ass knife wonder beats. Man, you go back and listen to that shit, and it's just like, man, if this ain't Fonte rapping, I don't know who the fuck. What's, this is. what's after? The, see, the thing, the thing, the thing that bothers me the most about the situation is, is that, that he's not. It. No, he's not writing none of this. Like majority of this stuff, because one of my favorite artists draws the hell out of inspiration, but he creates his own yeah, music. He's writing his, he's own, writing his own lyrics. Yeah, Drake. Is a package. He's a package. They package him. So is he the Country Brothers or is it or is it whoever's behind him? The OVO work sweatshop. Is it him or is is it who's behind him? Hold on. Let's go back to these albums, man. It's who behind? Who's him. who's? who's then what's so after? To, what's after this? Was what is it? Uh, the reason? Reason? No, no, the reason this is what's after that? Views. 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 Pure R and B. No, it was it was R and B Rasta. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Thank you. Uh, R and B Rasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, with, with kid, all of a sudden. Yes. With thank his you. Kid, uh, what's that one dude from? Uh, he. That, I know what I'm talking about. I, I truly believe they were uh, popcorn. I, them dudes popcorn. from wherever England somewhere. I know you're talking about. Them, I believe them motherfuckers wrote. Yeah. That they wrote that and the album after the all no, that, that shit. Uh, the, the album after um. With his dad on the front cover. Yeah. Uh, more life. More life. That was more Caribbean. Uh, yeah, like what? That shit was what? Like his his London or what? He from Canada? Like man, each and what's the other one after that? I feel, Scorpion, right? I, listen, I understand. You is, know where he's from? Canada is very diverse. It, no, it's it's, <laughs> it's beyond diverse. diverse. But you, but you gotta. Even he's with all the diverse genre or like <laughs> jumping from each Listen, culture and shit. Even our city, period, is is diverse. We have Asian town. We have yeah, we, yeah. We, it's we, diverse as fuck. Spanish. But time. you ain't gonna see you ain't gonna see none of us. One day we say it's like a Spanish song. Next day we, you know, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Like you gotta find your identity as something. That's how I'm feeling though. He but, don't got no identity at all. He don't, but at this point, it just don't matter because he can sell to whoever. That whole scorpion thing in the front cover, you took that shit from West Side Gun. I don't give a fuck what nobody said, because nobody was wearing no type of shit like that. Or wearing nothing eccentric like that but West Side Gun and the Brazil dudes. So when he made that post, he took it down though. But he made it very clear, niggas jocking them, and that's the truth. And Drake is just a big ass jocker. And again, when Meek Mill exposed his ass and no one fucking believed him, and yeah. it's fucking baffling. That and he had that, hardcore fucking evidence. That right there. Not just he say, right, she say, hardcore that evidence. That right there. Is wild. That man. right there. Is wild. No, that stamped and solidified to me that hip hop is dead. 
when you yeah. got the guy that's quote unquote the best hip hop artist, didn't he say that he was the best hip hop artist? He didn't say entertain. If he would have said entertainer, that's fine. Yeah. I, 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 but he said he was the best hip hop artist. To, to 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 piggyback off what you were saying, I don't think I don't think him getting caught, him getting exposed, I don't think none of that was the defining moment that killed hip hop. I think what killed it is when. So what y'all think about um, games picked with Kobe, saying the um, documentary's favorite album and all this other <laughs> shit? What y'all think about that shit? I think I think uh, clown, I, clown shit. Right. I think the game is borderline delusional. Yeah, and you know, and since we talking about like the culture version thing, I, in my opinion, he kind of is. Um, if you go through like his his like his discography, listen to all his music, all he majority of his verses is about, you know, he name dropping. I get it, he paying homage, but I don't know. At one point do the homage paying, you know, slow down. And then even with like this Nipsey Hustle thing, he posts and do it like three or four times a day. Like Yeah, I think it's a little I think it's a little <laughs> like, uh that's a little ridiculous. Yeah, man. It's like, honestly. I, like, was y'all really that though? That close with friends? Wasn't or? that close? You know, what I'm tour with him uh, when uh, what album was that? I think the Doctor Davenport. I'm not 100 percent sure. Don't quote me on that. But he you know, took him on tour and shit. But yeah, but dude, lying about posts. Like if, if yeah. yeah, he lied about posts. So who knows? You know, if any of that's accurate. Like if they was really that close and. He just a liar for real. Like he lied about the meat beef. Like he says he was in he photoshopped that he was at Bax's Philly. What? <laughs> like, Did he really? Yeah, it was photoshopped. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. He photoshopped that shit. I think he got Somebody a mental would illness. Ran down on him. He got a mental illness. That's why game he don't know if he's coming or going. So I would consider him a cult of vulture though, because he this this he just wanna be in the end crawl. He wants to be at the moment. And, and it's questionable, you know, I'm it's all real. I didn't like the, the Nipsey, him posting Nipsey. Like, what? Every day? No, 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 no. no. They say there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like, this dude will be posting him. He wants attention yeah, really bad. Really that close, though. I mean, everybody grieved different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Just but it's just a typical game. In. No, my problem was the Kobe post. Yeah, shit, wow. It wasn't. He lied about it. it, was, it, was, it was a, you ain't see that? No, nah, I seen that. Yeah. That, one, that wasn't called out shit. I wasn't surprised, though. So I, that's, that's I mean, up. I wasn't Damn. surprised, but I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, this, this again? These antics again? I think that whole letter to more in London, that love poem, whatever, I thought, thought that was kind of weird. That's just my personal opinion. I thought it was odd. Really odd. Like it's just strange to me, you know what I'm saying? He wrote the poem. Yeah, I think it's, I thought it was weird. Yeah, uh, would you mind elaborating on that? Nah, I mean I don't think it was weird. I mean you don't? Nah, I mean I read it one time, but I don't, I don't think it was weird. That's just I, that's, it was just. I mean, but again, we like we just speaking from the outside in. Yeah, but like uh, yeah, with the whole Nipsey situation, yeah, I really don't know. Well, you know, know if he had a relationship with his wife, you know, we, right? You know, we, we don't really know. <laughs> it's just like everybody's going. For Glorifying it, and y'all, nobody was really glorifying it before, right? But you know what you got until it was gone, so I, that kind of work, the devil's advocate goes both ways. But I think Game of Culture Wars, you know, he just he does whatever's cool, he got on face tats, like he's just I don't know, man. That dude is so he, it's a mental illness somewhere. He lied about not being on, um, what is it, Change of Heart, right? That show, <laughs> yeah, liar. I mean, it's the, that, it's okay. yeah, it's just. Tongue rings. And yeah, it makes me think like did did Fifty Cent just write the hooks or did he write some of the verses too? That's what I was gonna touch on. Like it makes you think like hmm. But I mean, whatever's cool, he wants to be a part of it. I don't feel like he's his own person. Yeah, he's riding. Yeah, I don't feel. Like, I guess like Wayne. You know what I mean? Whatever's cool, he wants to be. Drake is a whole nother beast. I think he mastered it. Yeah, definitely. The best I think he, he learned. From, he learned yeah. from the. He learned from the guys that had the. Had, they was great at it. He the best, Mr. Mr. Kanye West. He's the best culture watcher of Mr. all time. Uh, Jay Z. He learned from them guys. I mean Wayne too. He learned. I think he took all of them 
elements elements and just rolled them into one and with the with, with like his persona then he was able to get away with it with the masses yeah. the, the dude is literally like a shapeshifter he don't really have a true identity he don't have an identity <laughs> shapeshifter like, I think he hates himself. <laughs> one, like for real one day he, you know shit push it I, I, push it be talking to him yeah he don't like that shit Hurt he don't touch on that. like issues either Oh, Drake. Nah, I, don't, I don't mind that. Everybody ain't obligated to do that. Yeah, that's true. I, 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 but yeah, he's never true. not one time did it before. But I, I mean, still, I don't mind that. Everybody ain't obligated to do that. Yeah, I agree. And he, he probably never even grew up to be in a situation. To he, was in a multi, like he was in a wealthy situation from yeah. the get-go, though. So, so he, he, you know, how can he speak for people that he don't? Man, his dad, I mean, he come from the Memphis so part of it. Yeah, everybody cut kind of different though. But how, I mean, his, how his, but, his dad's side was broke, like didn't have money though. But it would it would look even more fake if he got to you know preaching some shit that he ain't lived. It's not though. necessarily preaching; it's just bringing awareness to it. But I, I mean, I understand what you're saying. As far as I feel like, as you got that big platform and you are like at the peak of like everything, and you see all these situations happening between you know all this injustice and all of that. Where was, I didn't see him speak on that. Speak on him, fuck that but, money up. But see, yeah. the, but I don't think he obligated to do this shit though, to be honest, he, like, yeah, he's no. not, you know what I'm saying? The thing with Drake is, you know, he might not even want that type of attention on him from from them type of issues. Right. You know, Drake the type of person like to con control all the narrative. That's why like when Pusher said that shit about his baby, um, you know, before we knew, he put out that uh, that long ass like post on IG, like talking about it. He don't like to let shit linger. You know what I'm saying? Like he like to control all the narratives and shit. Yeah, I see that. And Michael, I mean, Michael Jordan was the one that never really spoke on right. gambling problems. Yeah, she, no, no about he like, never spoke on oh, no, nothing. No, yeah, yeah. 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 But Mike, again, like every they, Mike just wanted to be a basketball player. Yeah, and that was yeah. it. Like. So I guess in I the think same it, similar, similar. I think Drake just want to be this an a entertainer. I don't but call the times is different though. Call them Everybody ain't built to talk about the times. Yeah, and and, yeah, and a lot of the people that are talking about it, in my opinion, a lot of them look for are, attention. Uh, they look for attention, and they you could like basically call them culture vultures too. That's the new cool thing to be woke and to be, you know. But you want a Tommy yeah. Hilfiger shirt. Yeah, like, yeah, that's the new... Yeah, you gotta, if you're gonna be woke, be woke yeah, all the fucking way. That, 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 that's the new cool oh, thing. It's not on Hilfiger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never wear that shit. It's just so funny to me. It's like, I'm everyone's sure, a genius I'm now. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll wear some... Or, like, sponsor some people that's racist as fuck, but... Me, like, blatantly knowing no, it, yeah. I'm not supporting it. Yeah. Like, anything that I got, I don't... I wore that. Like before, you know, all the big riff came up, right? Yeah. Like, like a lot of these companies, like they fucking multi millionaires. Like a lot of these motherfuckers is ran. I mean, a lot of these companies is ran by white people. Like they all yeah, racist. Like Timbal Timbal Timbaland, Timbaland, yeah. Timbaland, uh, the the owner of that. Uh, he told he told like a grandson or son like uh, he didn't want black people wearing his boots and shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that, and that ain't stopping on sales. Exactly. I don't get, people don't give a fuck. People don't give a fuck. Look at the whole Gucci. The whole Gucci. That's why I was saying, like, people need to just shut shut up about the whole Floyd Mayweather situation because everybody want to try to bash him, but you still walking around here wearing like a whole bunch of stuff where the yeah. people have made like statements and stuff saying that they didn't want black people. Uh, a lot Especially, of people. like the women, the women, the black women killed me with the Michael Kors situation though. Because Michael Kors got statements, written statements that say he do not want black women wearing his stuff. It's just what's, what's the latest fad. It don't want nonsense. Everyone want to look cool like Tommy's a new thing. I didn't talk to the girls you know personally. I mean? like, like, hey, look at this. Yeah. Even and show them. They like, I don't care. care. Yeah, I'm good at I can shop at Walmart. I don't give a fuck no more. Back in the day, I wanted to be cool and be in the end. I don't, man, I don't go to Target. I go to a guy in thrift store. I don't give a fuck. Like and that's the problem with people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you know, Yachty had this, this song, like, Nautica's back out now, which is fine. Nautica like, been, yeah, but it, it got, Nautica. but it got more, more popular because you get a load of Yachty. No. Definitely. No. Definitely. 
He probably brought some extra. He probably eyes. brought some yeah. extra. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Some yeah. Eyes. So, yeah. And now Tommy, yeah. now Tommy took back off. Yeah. Then definitely Tommy yeah. took back off. Not because then. It's been, but it got, it's way more popular now. Yeah, I think it got more eyes on it, but the Nautica comeback came, but it was, it was a few years ago for, yeah. before Yachty was popping. Like, yeah. it, was, it was already looking to come back. It's like nobody really, no one's their own person. Like, Feli's a hot thing now, the shoes and shit. Feli's are trash, man. Like, everyone's wearing <laughs> Feli's, you notice that shit? Everyone's wearing Feli's. <laughs> It's only like one or two pairs of felines ever I that think, ever came out. I think the, the uh, I think the Prada Prada Hills Fila or some shit like that. I think you're right. Prada, Prada, like, that's the Grant Hills is the only felines that was dope. Nah, Jerry, 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 Jerry some shit is trash. Jerry <laughs> Stack, Jerry <laughs> Stack, <laughs> Stack ass nigga, I seen some felines. <laughs> Jerry Stack, I like a couple of his shoes though. Yeah, yeah. they all trash now. <laughs> What y'all think about Dame Dash uh, calling New York home and uh, Coastal Walls? Y'all think that's true? Yeah, for to sure. a certain extent. You think yeah, a certain absolutely. extent? Absolutely. Yeah, to I a think certain 100% extent. 100% correct. Yeah, but you got to look at it from a business standpoint as well. People coming in to New York for it, like, you kind of selling, selling yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I, New, I, York I can tell, New York, he can turn them down, though. You see what I'm saying? Why would he? He's making money. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm just not. I won't jeopardize my integrity. If you're a whack artist, you're a whack artist. Like he signed Amigos, right? The Hunter Entertainment. I mean, what's, what's that record label called? Quality that's Control. QC. Quality, QC. That's QC. Uh, uh, but but he own that, don't he? Nah. Mm-mm. He don't. Nah. Who? But the thing, the thing is, though, like there are a lot of the label, yeah, that's what it is. Three hundred. A ton of the label executives, a lot, a lot of them in the industry are culture vultures. They just capitalizing off. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. They putting out trash that they know that they can sell. You know. Yeah, at this point, they don't, give a, damn about they don't give a fuck about. Yeah. It. yeah but I mean, hip hop so gone. Yeah. On a mainstream level, that uh, it's just it's at an all time bad uh, like it's at an all time high with like being. Like you were saying, a lot of them label execs though, they are culture partners. I'm not, I don't know if Leor goes in that. I don't know. I mean, to a certain extent. A lot of people say that shit about Leor going on their culture culture. Yeah. It's just like damn near well known. Huh? Yeah, whatever is hot and try to manipulate and change the masses, and he does a great job at that. He's getting rich off this trash. That's why I love Steve Stout. He stands for what he believes in. He's trying to get work with quality artists. He just don't get anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I, I like to see Stout a lot. And I can respect that. Uh, compared to New York Cohen, make them sign these three, three sixty deals and yeah, that's that. Push to certain singles and like Freddie Wap, he was popping. So sick of hearing this nigga. Now we don't know where he at. He made all that money. You know what I'm saying? I bet you that contract was ass. I guarantee it. Probably like 75. No, nah, I'm being nice. Probably like 85, 15 for real. Nah. These contracts ain't that bad. I think they just caught it. I get caught up with the 360 deals. Well, and three, stuff like that. The whole idea of a 360 deal is just like, that shit is mind blowing to me because basically everything that you got or everything you create is the labels. Like everything, any way you make it some money belongs to the label. If that ain't being a vulture, that's fucking like yeah, what it is. That's on the artist too, though. You gotta be smart and know what the fuck you sign like. Right. A lot of these people they, they get a deal, get a little advance, couple thousand, get a watch and a chain, post it on Instagram and they think they made it. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be smarter than that. It's hard it's hard though. You you a broke dude, you recording out your out your mama's no, I mean, true too, but and they dangling this in your face. But again, you sometimes you just gotta play the long game. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no, the thing a lot of people don't have to that at this point, like, it's been so many artists these days that's actually, like, giving you the tools to, you know, try to break down the, that's true. like, the difference yeah, between, one of them. The, the difference between signing any that. major deals and, and being, trying to go independent. I feel like as an artist now, you should be more aware of, you know, getting screwed over on deals. Yeah. Because I, th- I feel like a lot of these young guys is making smarter business moves when it comes to... I've not put aside the music. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about yeah, far yeah. as signing sign, sign sign. deals with these record labels. Like, they making, <clears throat> they being way more smart than they ever have. Been. That's true. It's, it's, it, that, that's, I mean, 
it's funny with that, like they are getting better deals and stuff like that, but they it'd be a lot of their management be getting them big ass cuts out of it. Like yeah, yeah, the yeah. deal yeah. itself be fucking magnificent. You be looking like how this bum ass rapper get this sweet ass deal? And it be because like whatever manager they got them broker that deal and that manager is eating. Like look at uh, what's the QC label do? Uh, what's his name? I know what you're talking about Migos manager. Yeah. That dude is Marv, I think. No, Ar- Albert or some shit. The dude with the fat ass nose. But I know you're talking about. Yeah, I just don't know his name. He's eating like he yeah. is eating lovely, like to the point where he buying Bentleys and shit for the, just cause. Like it's Tuesday, let me buy my artist a Bentley type. Like he got money like that, and you're not telling me the Migos went into an office and was like, "Hey, we about to put this deal together. We need this amount of money." Yeah. So it ain't happen like that. Like. No, he he signed in a bunch of artists though, just off the simple fact that he Migos manager. manager. Yeah, but but you don't think he getting big big checks on the back end? Yeah. Like they eating? Yes, they are eating. Little little Yachty, same way. Little, little Yachty, your little Yachty. I want to be clear on this. Not the music I'm talking about. Business wise, yeah. business. Yeah. That dude has Pretty made smart. some smart business moves. Yeah. Like he the creative designer for Nautica. Yeah. Chance, another one who make a lot of business moves. Yeah. On his own. Childish Gambino, too. Yeah, he's very intelligent. You know, Childish Gambino got the Atlanta series. He got some, mm-hmm. uh, like, cartoon stuff that he was working The dude with, like. that did stand up. He got the music Chance in the office. Chance no deal, though, I don't think. He don't he's need one. He's still independent. He got an Apple deal. That's crazy, man. Still yeah. independent. And he could drop his music. And he never got, got endorsements. Like, Kit uh, Kat. Doritos. Yeah, Doritos. I did kick out. That whack ass commercial with the Backstreet Boys. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, he, hey, he, he eating a check. Hey, get your check, man. Should God be in there. <laughs> Chance kind of overrated, though. Is rapping or? Yeah, he, he overrated for sure. You think so? Yeah. He capitalized on it. Yeah. He didn't even have enough. Thing. Like, he, he literally took off. off like what, two mixtapes? And he just acid shot right, right. to that's the his, fucking that's top. That's his best music, man. Acid, acid Rap was his book? best. That's no, Acid movie. Rap was his best, so? yeah, for sure. best project. That shit ain't even close. Yeah, and it's that not, close. no debate. No, I'm not, he, he cool, I just think he overhyped. I'm not a fan, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, I ain't really a fan of his. Bro, I, I, I think really Saba better than uh, Chance the Rapper. They both I, I think rap, rap wise, Childish Gambino better than both of them, rap wise. I agree with that. I know Saba cold though. Child, I was I was sleeping on Charles Gambino as a rapper himself. Like that dude can really rap. It's just he his persona don't come I mean, off as like a dude that can rap. Because the internet, because of the internet, that's one of the best albums to come out. I think probably the last six years. His social, it his is. social yeah. consciousness that came out in He all the way, he all the way in the peak. He he in, at the top with the social consciousness with the music. That album was great, man. I think that's a classic for. Uh, because that that yeah was, that album oh that that's debatable that is um it's it's dope though for real I just I think he it just seemed like a cornball rapper to me man you gotta go back and listen to listen you know, you to him? nah I used to this dude I used to train I was training in Columbus for eight weeks. You gotta, yeah. you gotta just listen to the music and get the picture of him but, out of, out of like his yeah. consciousness. That's probably what his consciousness is. and concepts. I think just don't visually think about it. Just <laughs> right. Yeah. You yeah. Can yeah. listen to the. Yeah, he was rapping a little Wayne for a long time. My dude got me hit fucking 2013. But like, this is America song. The song sucks. The what? song itself. I say incredible. No, listen to me. That, song. Tell me the what song said. itself. I just wonder what are you saying? That's incredible. You talk about the visual. Or are you talking about the lyrics? The visual and the concept about, is I'm dope. I'm talking about the concept. The, the song itself is trash. But what, the what is he saying? What is, tell me what he's saying. It all ties into it. I, I don't think he made that song for people to actually bump in the damn car. I think he made it with the intention of, the, you know, it's a package deal. It comes with the video. He wants you to like, and watch actually, it. And actually, that video, you know if, if yeah, it actually, was, it's part of a, a movie. Like, he did a movie um, with Rihanna. It's on, you got to watch it on, like, Amazon Prime or something like that. But... Is if if you watch that movie, it's a segment where he talks about America because they like in some foreign country, and the dude is like, "Well, what I want to do in my life, I want to go to America because that's the land of, you know, opportunity." And he was basically saying that America is like 
Yeah. It's an institution, like it's yeah. an idea. It's not, you know, everybody says man, America's it's a and preaching. For yeah, them. like it's it's not what you think it is, yeah. and that's what that song is basically yeah. saying. I, I'd rather I like I I like <laughs> Eastern views more than Western views. I think Western views are flawed and for social Darwinism. That's just my personal opinion. I'd rather have Eastern views any day. If people don't know what Eastern views is, Asia and India and shit like that, like their philosophies and theories and shit. I agree with this Western shit is whack. Like it's for uh, the majority of white folks, and I don't agree I with that the American that. dream. So I ain't speaking on y'all know my thoughts on that. I ain't speaking on that. Oh, so that's why I don't agree with these Western <laughs> views. Shit is whack as fuck. If I can live over in Eastern <laughs> countries, I sure would. That is, every, everything's pleasant over here. Is just we're look we're frowned upon from other countries. You know, I used to play the game and shit all the time, and people from overseas be like. Oh, you fat fuck, or you disrespectful, <laughs> greedy. Remember that shit all the time? Yeah. That, that's the perception of us. But it'd be like, where's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's the perception. So, but that's way off topic. <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation for real. Not but. really. That, that ties in. Yeah. The, the, the people that started that literally are the origina original culture vultures. Yeah, because the culture over <laughs> Eastern. Because we stole everything from, eat from, from fucking from over East. Like the electronics, they paying them a dollar a shoe, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like we're taking advantage of that. You know what I mean? It's because we're the powerhouse. Now, once the Eastern Chinese, Indian, Japanese get like the weapons or get a better democracy, shit is gonna switch. That's why it's been all these. It's not gonna ever happen though. It's not. They ain't gonna allow it. It's not. But they're in a place where I feel like they know what they're doing. They we need their elect we need their electronics to import into our country. We need it. Our shit, our, like for the American shit. It's both of them. It's both of them. And they had sharing, sharing, sharing thing. Now nah, they need so. things. Don't you know how we need that they stuff? They need our stuff too. Like, you know, like the gun, like the the nuclear shit, the guns. They got their own shit. It's not as not strong. Japan. It's like it was not at the level of our shit. That's what I'm saying. Not at the level. So why would? But so you don't want the. That's why they hire people from Eastern countries to work on their shit because they're so intelligent. You know, people, like that's why there's always internships and shit like that. But that's our show for today, man. For culture Falls. we could have talked about this shit in another right. five more segments. Right. Um, corporate like entertainment, sports overtime. Merch. We got a member back. Hub Roberts. Um, buy some merch. Tatted. Hub <laughs> running. He got a tat on his belly. That's real shit. Um, get the merchandise. Real rap. T-shirts. T-shirts. Hats. Thongs. Thongs or the Paul. CL joints. <laughs> Support the movement, man. Go ahead, man, and say your little shit. Yeah, smash the like oh, button. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate every viewer, right. every subscriber. Uh, Fuck the money. Glad, glad, to, glad, glad to see uh, Hubba Rally back in the building. <laughs> Tell him his best thing. We More. appreciate the with special guest appearance. More outlandishness coming from me. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> be, be on the lookout for that. Right. Facts. <laughs>